Hi, in this video I want to teach you how to make this beautiful crochet circular cardigan. It's a size large, that's why it's a little bit big for my daughter. It's very easy to make and here is the list of material you're going to need to make this beautiful piece. The yarn I'm going to use is 100% mercerized cotton, medium 4. The color of this one is half pink, that one is half blue, half green, black and this one is from sugar and cream uh, of white and this one the brand is Bernat they have 50 gram or 73 meters the crochet hook is 8 millimeter and if you can find this type of yarn and you can find the orange that I used in the piece before it will make a fantastic combination with this color because it's a hat color too but this is the only little bit that I have left and they don't have any more this color here in my local store. I look at Michael and Walmart and nothing. So I'm going to use the black one instead. So you're going to need tapestry needle and scissor. Here is what you're going to do now. You're going to do one of these piece until you get to this line in here of double crochet. I'm going to attach after I finish talking to you right now what I did to make one of these. Okay, so you will see me working first, making this with the orange, and then after you will see me continue making the cardigan with the piece that will have black in it. This one will have any black. So for the one that I'm going to make for the cardigan, the combination of color that I'm going to do is the center going to be pink, where the orange is. Where the pink is, we're going to be blue. And the blue gonna be the green, and where, where is the green gonna be black. This four row stay the same, but if you want to do one more row of black here, where I have this of white, you will do a row of black with six stitches, and then you will do after that one more row with the uh, of white but with seven stitches. And then after that, you will do your row of double crochet. That is optional if you want to do one more row of black and if you want the piece will be to be bigger in the back. Okay. So I'm going to be working off camera doing my piece. So I'll meet you here when I have mine ready at this point here. Okay. Something that I wanted to uh recommend if you are a lady that use extra large size i will recommend to do that extra row of black or whatever color you're doing but you have to do that extra row that way the piece is a little bit bigger in the back but if you are a large size and you want that extra row you can do it too no problem so for those ladies that wanted to make it smaller i recommend just to keep it like this, like this one. So it's uh, just an advice that I wanted to give you just in case you want this a little bit bigger. To start we're going to do a magic circle with the orange. And I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. And I'm going to do a double crochet. So the chain comes as the first one, so you're going to have to do seven more for a total of eight. So I'll meet you here when I have my eight double crochet. Once you have your stitches, you will do uh, pull the tail and do a slip stitch in the third chain. Here you're going to chain three. And I'm going to do the Portuguese double crochet, and that is, you go through that space there, and you pass it through one, pass it through two, and two. Very long stitch. And I work my stitches very loose, very long. If you don't work loose, I recommend to use a size 9 crochet hook, because you want them to be nice and long, your stitch. So you're going to chain one. You're going to go to the next space and you're going to do two together. And 
and if you don't know how to do this, do treble crochet instead. Chain one. And then this row is the only row that you have a chain one in between the stitch. So you're going to continue doing this all the way around. So you do two together, chain one, two together, chain one, two together, like that. Here I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to go to the third chain and do a slip stitch. And here you finish working with the orange. And you'll have eight groups like this. And now you're going to chain one, cut the yarn, and we're going to start working with the next color. Now we're going to change color to the hot pink. And I'm going to pass it through one of these spaces here. And I'm going to do a knot. Leaving a tail, that way I can, it's easier to lose it when it's a little bit long than too short. So just right there, I'm going to start working. And I'm going to do three chain. And like you see, I made them very long, very uh, loose. And in that space, I'm going to do another Portuguese double crochet or a treble crochet, whatever you guys doing in there. Now in every single space in between the two from the row before, you're going to do the same. Two together. Like that. You see? In every space. with no chain in between or anything. So all the way around. I will meet you here at the end of this row. Here you're going to go to the third chain and do a slip stitch. Chain one, cut the yarn and now we're going to be changing color to the third color and it will look like this. Now we're going to change color and we're going to work this time and the space in between the two uh, double crochet together and here in this space we don't want to work this time in the inside of the space as in between the space so you're gonna attach the yarn exactly the same you're gonna attach the yarn each time okay Now I'm going to chain three, and this time we're going to do three double crochet or treble crochet in this space. Now you're going to skip these two together and you go to this space in here and you're going to do exactly the same. Again, just keep those two and then go in the space here and do your three. So you're going to do this row with this color. You're going to change color and go to the next one. And you're going to do exactly the same as you're doing in this one. Three together. But this time going to be in this space in between here. You see? Three here and three here. Like that. That will be with the next color. So do those two rows and I'll show you what to do in the next one with this color in here. Here I finished that row and it don't just sit flat. You have to do like this in order to go down, but that's okay because with the other rows will uh, make it to go flat. So here I'm going to explain you the rows and what you're going to do because I'm going to do it off camera until here. So I finished that, this row here. 
It was three stitches in the same place. Now the next color is the natural or neutral color, natural color. I'm going to do four stitches. After that one, I will do another row with four stitches. This is the pink. After that row, with the blue, I'm going to do one row with five. And then the green one is with six. And again, the natural color is with six. Okay. And then after that, I will be doing a row of double crochet, the short double crochet, and I'll show you how to do that row, how the stitches is going to go in there. So I'm going to repeat again, that way you see uh, everything. Here I start with a magic circle, and I did my eight double crochet. And then in the next one I did two double crochet, the long double crochet in each space, and the one after that one was two. With the blue I did three, with the green I did three. Now with the natural color I'm going to do four, with the pink one I'm going to do four, with the blue five, with the green six, and with the natural six. So do that and I will meet you here to show you how we're going to continue from here. Okay. Here I start working with the off-white and after this row I don't going to cut the yarn because we're going to do the row after this one of regular double crochet with the same color like I did here. You see the two rows are with the same color. Here I finish that row and my piece sit nice and flat. It's not crinkled or lifting or anything. It's sitting nice and flat and the reason for that is that I do my stitches very very long for this piece. So here I'm going to chain 3 and we're going to do regular double crochet and now we're going to do them in every space on top of each double crochet from the bottom we're going to do a double crochet on the top. Alright, it's just regular double crochet. So here in between these two and the space between this one and this one we're going to do two double crochet in that space. And now we're going to do this one here and we're going to do a double crochet in every space. Again, here we're going to do two double crochet and cut to this space and double crochet. And like that, you're going to continue and it'll look like this all the way around. Here, you're going to finish with two double crochet and you're going to do a slip stitch. And here, the I finished this part and I did my row of double crochet. So I divided where I'm going to leave the opening for the arm and the top part and this is the bottom part here. Here I don't, I finished with a slip stitch and I didn't cut the yarn. I left it attached here because with the same color I'm going to do my chain and do a single crochet here. I count from this slip stitch, that chain in here, to this one here, 17 double crochet and I place the marker. I count here 24 and I place the marker. And after the marker, I count 17 and place the marker here. So, I'm going to do a chain with this one of 24. I'm going to do a slip stitch here. I'm going to cut the yarn leaving a tail long enough just in case those 24 are not enough for me. So, everybody has the arms different width, so thickness. So, you have to do the chain according to your size. And this side... You will attach the yarn here again, and I, you're going to do the chain, the same amount of chain that you did on the other side. Here you do the slip stitch, but don't cut the yarn because that first row, we're going to do it, uh, the first row after we divide uh, the sleeve, where the sleeve are, yeah, we're going to do a row of mm, the same color as this one. I'm sorry, I have a little bit of a cold, so my voice is a little funny. Um, so I'm going to do my chain off camera of 24, do a single crochet 
cut the yarn, leave it a tail. Do the same on the other side, but I don't want to cut the yarn like I say. And I'm going to try it on. And if uh, it fits, I will leave it like that. If it's not, if it's too tight, I will give two more chain like that. So I will do mine off camera and I'll let you know how many I want to give to mine. And remember, if you want this piece for a smaller person, you just have to measure as the rows as you go. Here I finished and I did my slip stitch and I did 24 chain in here and 24 in the other side. So I lost all the tail like here. I sewed them in. That way I have less to do when I do the other part. I just will do the ones for now one because it's quite a few tails to lose. So here I left my yarn attached and I'm going to do a slip stitch to the next space. And here I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three. And I'm going to do my Portuguese double crochet or triple crochet, whatever stitch you're doing in there. I'm going to skip one and two, double crochet, and in the next one I will do two together at the same stitch. Again, I will skip one and two, and in the next one I will do two. I'm doing exactly the same as I did in the bikini cover up here, but I did it with the orange. But here I do it with the same color that I did that row. That way, when I work the sleeve, here will be the first row around the sleeve, the same color. And that's why we're doing that, this row the same color as this one. So when I get to the start of the chain, I will show you how to continue. Here I'm at the point where I'm going to start working on the chain. But here I did that one and I have one in between um, the stitch that I did and the chain. So in between those two, here leaving one, I'm going to do again two together. So now we are in the chain and you're going to count, that's the first chain there, one, two, and in the third one you're going to do two together. You're going to count one, two, and in the third one, two together. And like that you're going to continue all the way around the chain, counting three and then two together. Counting two and the third one two together, sorry. Like that. Here you're gonna finish the last one here in the same space that you, you did finish the, slip in the same stitch. space of the slip stitch. So now I'm gonna skip only one and in the next one I will do two because I want to be exactly the same as the other side. And now I skip two. And then the next one, I did two together. Okay. So the same way that is here, is here. The piece will look like this. This is the open for one of the arm, and this one is in the other side. And I finish here in the space where I did the slip stitch. That's where I finished there. So now I'm going to cut the yarn, and I'm going to start working with the pink. And the stitch that I'm going to do here will be uh, two together in the space in the side of the V stitch. So in here, and here, and here, like that. All the way around with the pink. So I'm going to show you anyway how here to I attach the yarn in the space in between two together. You know, on the side here. And the space that's two left in here. So I'm going to chain three, do a little stitch in that same space. I'm going to skip that B stitch there. You see those two together in the same place. I'm going to go here and I'm going to do two together in here. Again, let's keep those two together and go to the next space. And like this, I'm going to work all the way around this row. 
Here I finished with the pink. Now I'm gonna work off camera and design the rest of the piece and I will let you know exactly what I did for mine after I finish. Here I have already the amount of row that I want for mine. So I stopped in here in that pink and I did another row with two together. So in total was one, two, three row starting with the of white of two together in each space. And then with the green I did three, with the black I did three, with the off-white I did three, and with the pink again I did three. The stitches in the same space. And then with the blue, the green, the black, and the off-white I did four in each space. And that was the amount of row that I did for mine. And here I'm going to show you, uh, that way you see better. Okay, let's plan it again. After I did that row of of white around the border of the sleeve I did one and two more row of two stitches in the same space like that. and after that I did one two three four row of three stitches in the same space and after that I did one two three four row of four stitches in the same space like that if you like this bigger you can do more row of four in each space and if you found the start to get um, pull your uh, ends, you can do five, a five, uh, five station in each space. But for me, so far, I try it on and I like it like this. Now I'm gonna do the sleeves. Yeah, and if I do the sleeve and I decide, oh, I want a little bit longer, I will do some more. But for now, I'm done working uh, in the round. So now I'm going to show you how we're going to do the sleeves. If you want it with a sleeve, if you don't, you leave it like that. Well, here i done one of the sleeves. It's very easy to do. It's nice and big and loose. And that's the way that turned out. And I like it like that. Yeah, because I try it on and look amazing. I love the combination of color. This combination like this, it looks fantastic. So at the end, I did the border like this. So it's very easy. I just did two together in each space from the beginning to the end nice and straight but in here in this three row here I change a little bit the length of the stitch that way the sleeve go a little bit down it's it turn more even because if you work the sleeve straight the bottom part is longer and the top part is shorter so you want to make it straight and what I did was here in the center of the sleeve, when I attach my yarn, I did three other stitches, regular double crochet, and three at the end. So six in total, and the inside of the, of the sleeve are just the short double crochet. So I did that in the black, in the uh, off-white, and in the pink, just in those three, and that made the sleeve straight. So I'll explain that as I go. So it's very easy and now I'm going to show you how to start the sleeve and you can work straight until those row until here and then I'll show you how to do those shorter stitches there. I'll explain everything and you have to do two the same so you have to keep the same amount of stitches in both of the sleeve. I'm going to start working through the bottom part of the sleeve under the arm and I'm going to work around 18 groups of two together. That was exactly the amount that I have for mine and the other sleeve. So I had to do exactly the same in this one. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to start in here. And I'm going to finish in here. In this space in here. So I'm going to start with the pink. Exactly as I did the other one. So you have to do them exactly the same. Well, if you like. <laughs> you can do any color you like. And in here, I'm going to chain three. And I'm going to do my Portuguese double crochet in here. And in each space. Here is easy because you can see it's in each space in here. You see? And on the other side, you have to do it in between leaving two 
in here. So you want to do the tail two together. So you're going to continue all the way around and when we get here I will show you how to work on the other side where we have the double crochet. Here I'm going to do one in this corner here where that one is and by one I mean one of this group of two. Then I skip those two and go to the next one. So you have 17, 18, 19, depending on the amount of chain that you did for yours. Uh, and here is the amount you're going to have of these ones. So I will recommend, just a sec, let me finish this here to show you, that those that I did here with the shorter stitch, you will do it in the next three rows that will be working right now after this one and the row numbers two three and four and the beginning of the sleeve because when i realized that my sleeve was getting uh, longer in the bottom and shorter in the top i was already here and i was losing tails as i went so i don't wanted to cut my work and lose all the yarn so I did it here, but I would recommend for you to do it here at the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to show you when I finish that row, I will show you how to Now with the blue, you're going to chain three. And in that space, you're going to do a regular double crochet. And the short ones. And that's what is, what, what is creating a shorter a sleeve in here and a longer in the top that way it go even otherwise it will be you see if you lift your piece and this one will be longer here in the bottom and this one will be shorter in the top but you want to even so you're going to do that and the next one too and then the next one after that you're going to do your long double crochet in here all the way around until you have three left three spaces that you will do exactly the same as you did in these three here so you will do this in one two and three here and then you do a slip stitch change your color and you'll do exactly the same as you did in this row in the row of blue for two more rows in total of three and after that you continue working a straight yes the long double crochet all the way to the length of the sleeve for mine I did one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one row plus the row of border here and the row border was uh, a chain of three, two double crochet, a single crochet in the next space, chain three, two double crochet in that space, and go to the next one and do a single crochet. And like that, I created that border. I will show you that when I'm at the end. So go ahead, work and just leave. It's exactly like that. No increase, no decrease. The only thing different is that you do shorter stitches here for three row. Okay. And it had to be in the under the arm, not in the top, because otherwise it will be longer in the bottom and shorter in the top, even more short. So you have to make sure that it's in the bottom part. So I'll meet you here when I have my other sleeve, and I'll show you how to do the border, and we have our piece. Here up. I finished this row, and I'm gonna do a slip stitch to get to this space here. One and two. I'm gonna chain one. And in that same space, I'm going to do a single crochet. I'm going to chain three, one, 
two and three yarn over and I'm gonna do two regular double crochet in here one and two I go to the next space here and do a single crochet chain three one two three two regular double crochet in the same space and go to the next space here and do a single crochet like that you're going to work all the way around and creating that border and you're going to finish here with a slip stitch and that first double crochet uh single crochet excuse me and after that you're going to do your other sleeve and lose all the tails and that's it you're done and I'm going to do that in this one and I'll show you then. This is what I have left from my third ball of yarn of each of the color. Like this. So you're going to need two on a bed of each. And this one like that. So you're going to need like, remember these ones are 50 grams. So are like 125 grams each for each color. Give or take probably a little more. And depending on the size that you're making, if you're making it bigger, you have to do more. Need, we will need more yarn. So now I'll show you. It looks amazing result. with the sleeve and the combination of the color is incredible. And to put it on, I have these hair clips that I bought uh, in eBay, China. And they are fantastic. I bought it for these type of projects. Like this. They're beautiful. To put it on. And if you don't have any clips like this, you can put a big button, but it has to be really big because you need to use one of these opening for the button hole. But if you find a medium size, you can use this in between the stitch here for the button holes. Okay. So now I'm going to put it on on my model and I will show you the end result. Well, here is the end result and I hope you guys like it. I give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber. And if you make this piece and you want to send me some pictures, you can do it through my Facebook page, Ruby Stedman, or you can find me in my Instagram, Ruby Stedman Crochet. I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye.